Mid-July 2010, and three jewels hang in the early evening twilight, visible almost, everywhere on Earth. The Earth spins a couple of times in the moon orbits, and thousands of bright, inquisitive terrestrial eyes turn skywards at dusk, and they see a wonder. So it's now the 14th of July, and the moon is now, as promised, right next to Venus. So that's the second and third brightest objects in the sky. And you can see the Earth shine on the moon. And a little up, there's Saturn. I can see it on the screen. You might not be able to. I'll give it on the photo. And there's Mars. Oh, excellent. I've got them both. So there's all three planets. Also down here, I've got uh, the first scope thing. It is actually currently on the moon. So I can actually change the contrast settings. Yeah. This does give you a reasonable feel of what you can expect to see with these things. Let's go focus. That's not bad. Now the reason it's going all orange there is sort of legit that if you actually look, the moon is sinking into the orange haze and all that sort of burnt out on the camera actually get the contrast right. The moon has actually gone all yellow. It's really the camera just can't quite hack it. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing on there, Saturn, and see what that'll do for us. Actually, it looks better than that through the eyepiece. That is Saturn through the first scope. 35 bucks. Okay, so it's just a funky thing to do. You get a laser pointer and you point them basically parallel to the camera. So what you'll find is you can actually use to point out things. So there's the moon, there's Venus, and up here somewhere, there he is, there's Saturn, which puts Mars just there. There you go.